Hey, 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 hey! This is the boat doctor. Mm. Hey, anyway, this is a beauty. Uh, this is a 270, 27 foot Pacific Explorer. Uh, you got overall length is like 30, uh, 30 feet, 30.4. Uh, uh, actual length is 2711, but you can count that offshore bracket at about two and a half feet, so about 30. I figured you got a 102 beam on this here. You got 500 horsepower max. You got twin 200s. I'll show you those in a second. Uh, we're down here at the California Boat Dock. Beautiful day. Looks like the tides almost at the slack. <clears throat> got big Jim and big, big explorer here. Got the Simrad Halo. I hope to say Halo Plus, which I think it is. It's got the dual range. Got the VHF antenna up there. Welded on rails large welded on cleats all the way down the boat like they should be a little cabin window this is kind of your all the way getaway you probably can write this boat off because it's got the galley it's got the bed it's got the water it's got the heaters uh refrigerator uh so you got basically everything so pretty sure you could write it off almost as a second home i'm not sure got a little bit of a reverse going on right there a uh, fuel tank 190 gallons inside depth about 30 dead rise you got about uh, I think it's 15 by 18 by 45 if I remember right on here. You got a quarter inch bottom on this real stout. Uh, the bottom is a 96 wide. Uh, side height's 42. That's why it's so big. Uh, 40. Must count 42 right there. Uh, what else can I tell you about that? I think the dry weight 6,900 pounds. Uh, it's a neat, neat boat. Very, very quiet. Very fast. Very efficient. Got the foot jack. Two and five sixteen inch ball get you one of them stainless B and M hitches, man. They're nice. B and W, I guess. Brake fluids right underneath that cap right there. There's your. Make sure you unhook that very first thing. That's your safety uh, cable for your brakes. Uh, foot jacks are good. Heavy duty uh, chains on here. Spare tire and carrier. <clears throat> These are ST two twenty five seventy five R fifteens, and I talk fast because I got to get this under. Try it under fifteen minutes. Because if not, it takes forever to download. Sometimes it doesn't accept it. You got uh, forward leaning window, three wipers. You got the windless winch, anchor pulpit, anchor drop pulpit, uh, arch. I mean, what a anchor drain right there. That's what that is. And hey, you don't have to do this, but it would kind of help me out. Maybe if you got, could subscribe to Yamaha's web or uh, YouTube channel. The only reason is that the, I know that this is helping you guys out uh, is I don't care about you know really how many subscriptions but it does help me to make sure that I know people are actually watching it and that it's doing some good so that's the only reason you don't have to I'm just bringing that up is there's no money involved I'm just a simple guy trying to help the person out because I know what it's like when you buy something you want to know about it you want to be able to ask and get the answer instead of the runaround and that's what why i'm doing it basically anyway four you got four by four with slicks on here you got the big large seven foot load guides heavy duty uprights uh really hefty trailer real good rub rail on the side you got the diesel heater up front you got a diesel heater for the stove and the sink or the stove and the the heater in the stove drain for the sink rocket launchers you got speakers back there you got a simrad display in the back and imagine that's about a, at least a 12 incher gear bath oil hubs good uh, brown good white bad disc on all three uh, surge brakes you got zip wakes these are automatic so it takes you really don't need the trim tabs on this boat that much anyway but these you can go automatic so it helps with your autopilot in a way and I'm going to test that out when I'm out there setting up the autopilot and all of the displays and his depth finder he's got the active three in one you got a drain plug underneath separate from your that's your offshore pad that drain plug right there and then you got one for the hole right there you got two pickups with screens one's probably fish box one's the wards down on that and you got these 200 salt water edition they're all salt water yamahas even this 25 this 25 has got fuel injection which is really nice heavy duty stainless tie bar got drains out the side here you got the sea star hydraulic that's good you got rear deck steering i'll show you that in a second uh beautiful boat nice now this is professional here on the um what do you call it not a wet deck self-bailing deck 
and they even use a flap here so it only goes so far and it actually saves on your rubber flappers you yeah, got that reverse i'm telling you right back there uh stainless prod shaft drive shaft on here and this is a 10 by 8 and a quarter on this like you see this is fuel injection uh two coats of clear two coats of primer on all of these special paint and like i say stainless prod shaft drive shaft um this is a right hand rotation 14 by 15 14 by 15 that's a left see how it cups here and this one goes to the right here that's a right that's a left uh, you got zinc internal on every cylinder on the block you got zinc up underneath there you really don't need these things anymore if you want to ask about those they're meant for the old holes uh, that had a tendency to torque over on you that right there is if uh, you ran out of battery you need to lift these motors you can do that counterclockwise and lift these up that's your fresh water flush flush do not start your motors when you just use that you got about 40 minutes on those if you put your hand here when you get back when you hook a hose to that and it's warm it's good but that water's cold there's no need just use your regular uh, flushers down below and if they're pumping good in the water you get home you go to put your earmuffs on there no water comes out 10 to 1 you don't have water pressure so don't panic take it back to the water dip it in psh, it pours out water you know you're good you just maybe would need to put a hose there and a hose on that fresh water flush okay so we're gonna get in here real quick you got a rear entry door and there's your uh, battery charger plug right there there's your light here ventilation you got these down riggers these work good these are the mags the cannons these are auto you can set the auto depth on here program them you got your crab dabbit electric that's a good one a uh, diamond plate where you're walking a little flay table you can see right here is your water and they use the little holes in there for a reason that baffles the water so when it sloshes around it doesn't come on over uh, right in here is your battery switches so when you want it on the house you got to get them all the way to the yellow that's normally a like a backup afi they call it but that's the way these are hooked up and this is what you gotta make sure these are on 24 hours this is your 12 disbursement oh, okay so all these are on that's for your uh electric refrigerator your heaters your main house batteries for your electronics that's for your winch this is your fish box huge that's where all your lines go now this fuel gauge is for your diesel heater the only way that comes on is through the front key switch you got to have and that is full trust me here's your controls for your kicker here's your controls to use your DEC we had a little issue from the factory uh, we got them working you got your steps up into there you can step up here's your diesel for your diesel heaters then your water's over there. Your main gas is this is the oh shoot. Water's back here. That's waste right here. So you want to make sure that not that it matters, because if you pump regular water in here, you, it's not a big deal. Don't dump it out. But just make sure you don't put water in this diesel. It's bright green. And that is your water fill over there. Your main gas fill is right here. You got sliding windows, speakers, cup holders. Get to the fuel tank. This is your Wallace stove top. Then you close it, it's your heater. Here's your controls. Here's your refrigerator switch. Your sink, you just turn it like this. I'm gonna add some more water. Right now, what happened, I don't think there's enough water and you gotta purge that. And like I say, we're just getting this thing together. So we gotta clean it up, take the paper off. We may leave that. This had an option where you could actually maybe hook this up to a shower or this way you can clean it too you got curtains rails they really do a good job look at the woodwork on top of the you know roof here and then you got your wood nice seats headrest these swivel back swivel slide footrest uh it's gonna have autopilot that may take me a while once i get that out figured out in the remote and the zip ways the rest of it should go pretty easy got speakers there that's a panel to get back here because we had to go our buds did 
uh, he had to go completely through the he got storage up underneath there and then I've got to see what he's got up underneath here he probably put that a little bit of storage got, like I say the little wing windows and these I think turn yeah see and they work So we got to put that panel back and got the NAC 3 actually on the autopilot. A lot of work involved in here. He's got to maybe, wow. He needs to bolt, bolt down that pump, restring these wires. I'll put that in my note because that should be bolted up. It shouldn't be just laying there. He can actually maybe mount that right here, make a bracket and just mount it like that. And then put that cover back on. And then up under here, that's just storage, 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 heater, pole holders, all his boxes. And that's that gateway that he didn't need. Uh, that's how to get to your tanks, tanks. Uh, right up underneath here, you got your uh, midship, uh, will float like if you're sleeping at night you hear that baby kicking on beware there's your holding tank for your water and make sure that picks up that's fine then you get up over here stereo usb ports windless works key switch starts zip away 12 inch again i believe on that except live well We'll see if that works. You got to have this one on, then turn the back one on. 